Oh, hey, didn't hear you come in. What's up? How can I help? Hey, hate to barge in on you like this, but guess what I did? Uh, you moved to MicroStation Connect. Yep, that's right. I moved to MicroStation Connect. I used to be super productive because I had all my icons and shortcuts and everything dialed in. But now that we've gone to the ribbon, I'm really not sure where things are. A lot of hunting around. Search is great, but is there a faster way for me to work? Well, I think I've got just the thing for you. It's the space bar. All you need is your left thumb and your right hand. Hey, I've got a left thumb, got a right hand, right? With your left thumb resting on the space bar, you just tap that and it's gonna bring up the pop-up menu. Pop-up menu out of the box, it's gonna have probably 90% of the tools you need during the day to get your job done. And if those tools aren't there, just like that, you can easily customize adding any tool you want to the pop-up menu. It's incredible. I think you're really gonna like it. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. So here, this is what we're talking about, the space bar. So all I have to do on my keyboard is tap the space bar and right at my cursor is gonna appear the pop-up menu. Now this pop-up menu, I think personally, is one of the most productive enhancements to our interface to date. Probably 90% of the tools that I'm gonna use during the day are right here on this pop-up menu. And if they're not, I can add them and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Let's break this down. First row, third row. These will bring up secondary dialogues. Let me demonstrate. I'll click on placement. This brings up the placement group and you'll note this is the same as the placement group on the home tab. The first row is the home tab. So I'm gonna hit escape to dismiss that. I'm gonna hit the space bar again. Now the second row, this gives me access to discrete tools. For example, if I go to copy element, this puts me in the copy element tool. So I've hit the space bar again. This is going to bring up the pop-up menu. What if I wanted to customize this? How do we get to the customize ribbon dialog? So I'm going to hit escape. I'm going to move my cursor to the ribbon above and in an open area in any one of these groups, I'm just going to right click. And at the very bottom, you're going to see customize ribbon. There's other ways to get to it, but this is my personal favorite. This is going to open the customized ribbon dialog. Now it should say personal.dgnlib or if your company has customized the name, which they could, it may have a different name, but it is pointing to your personal DGNlib. And a DGNlib is just another DGN file with a DGN LIB extension. This is where we store lots of things like customization. We can put levels, level filters, all kinds of styles like dimension styles and text styles and things like that. We're focused on customization. On the left, you can customize two things, the ribbon or the quick access toolbar. We're doing the ribbon. In the middle, this is where we can get tools to drag over to the right, which this is a list of our workflows. Now the workflow we're gonna go to is admin. We're gonna go down to interface. You're gonna see pop-ups, I'm gonna expand that. And then you're gonna see pop-up main with a lock on it. And if I expand that, you're gonna see it's all grayed out. Now, how can I customize if they're grayed out? Well, if I hover over this, you can see the source is a file called baseribbon.rsc. That's a Bentley file. We don't want you messing with that. So how do I go about customizing this? I'm going to have to import pop-ups into my personal DGNlib. You do this once and you're done. You don't have to do this every time, just once. So I'm going to right click on pop-ups and then you will appear. I'm going to slide on down about three quarters of the way down, import local copy. I select that. It comes up and shows you that there's changes pending. Now I can make all my changes and then come back and hit apply at the end, or I can hit apply as I go. I'm just gonna hit apply as I go. So I hit the apply button. It's gonna activate that personal.dgnlib file, apply the changes that I just made. So now you can see pop-ups is struck out here. That's the one from baseribbon.rsc. Mine, which is labeled as custom, is now editable. So I can now expand this. I can slide down, you can see they're all dark bold, and now I can make my edits to them. So I can easily drag items around, like I can drag element selection down, I'm gonna drag it down below scale, because that's gonna put it in the middle. I can add tools to this if I want to. So I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down here, and let's say I wanted to find a modify element. So I'm gonna hit the letter M, it'll jump down there. I'm gonna be looking for modify element, so there it is. I can drag and drop this over. Just find a spot, drop it in. Now I can add additional rows. Let me slide this over a bit. Now if I click in the view and hit spacebar, none of the changes are applied yet. 
what you're going to see when I apply it is element selection is going to move to the middle and we're going to have another icon on the right because that's going to make this one in the middle, the center of nine icons. So when I hit the space bar, my cursor will be right there in the middle. So watch what happens when I hit apply. I'm going to dismiss that. I'm going to hit apply. My changes went from pending to now applied. I hit the space bar. There's my element selection right in the middle. Modify element is to the right. Now I can add as many icons as I want to, and I can also add additional rows. Now these rows are referred to as panels. So if I come up here and I select pop up main, if I collapse this, you can see I pop up top, middle, and bottom. This icon right up here allows me to insert a new panel, which is essentially a new row. And then I can add into that additional icons by just coming over here and adding them in. You can also add in, if you want, custom icons. So it's that simple. Once you make these customizations, you're done. And productivity is just a space bar away.